I remember the first time I walked into a comic shop. It was poorly lit, I had no idea what the hell anything was, and nobody was jumping out of their chair to help me. Sir? What? Are either one of these any good? I don't watch movies. How do you get into comics? I had no idea. So I'm making this video as a small primer and format to help you find your way around at least a little bit. And even if you've been reading comics forever, you might still learn something. So here's a list of terms you might hear in your local comic shop. The term comic comes from comic strips, which were mostly funny, so they were called funnies. Comic itself means funny. Think about it. Think like stand-up comics. At some point, publishers started taking strips, printing them together on pages, folding them, and stapling them in the middle, and the comic book was born. It's a weird thing how a term like comic gets adopted even if it doesn't really reflect the thing anymore. Take my great-grandmother, for example. She's really old. I mean, she lived through the Depression old. I tried to explain to her about this book called Mouse. Mouse is this landmark dramatic comic that gets taught in universities all over the country, and it's about the Holocaust. This is my Gigi. Well, that's not really her, but you get the idea. She's the sweetest old lady ever, and she gave me the evil eye. Well, I don't think the Holocaust is anything to joke about. See, she remembers that comics were silly and funny, even if today most of them are not. By the way, if you're really interested in getting into what comics are and how they work, I highly recommend checking out Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud. This book will blow your mind. This is what most people think of when they think of comics. You might hear this called a comic, a floppy, a monthly, or an issue. We call them issues to describe, like, what issue is that comic up to? Or how many issues of that comic are there? Or like, in which issue did She-Hulk have amicable relations with the unstoppable juggernaut? We call them monthlies because they come out monthly, and we call them floppies because, well... Ongoings are comic series that don't have a planned end. Like, Batman's been published since the 30s, and it's still being published today with no end in sight. It's not like they're going to turn it into an off-going... Are we really doing this joke? A miniseries, or limited series, has a defined amount of issues, so when you get the first one, you know how many are coming out before it's over. Like these guys, the first issue says, one out of five. A one-shot is a comic in which the story is resolved in one issue. It's a done in one. There's not an issue two or three. It's all by itself. It's all alone. I'm so lonely, so lonely, so lonely and sad, real alone. A variant is a copy of the same exact comic on the inside, but with a different cover. See, different cover on the outside, same thing on the inside. Just like Skittles. You see, because they look different on the outside, but on the inside, they taste exactly the same. Yeah, I know you really like the red ones, but you're living a lie. Yeah, that's right, internet. I said it. Bring it on. I don't even carp. <laughs> Once enough issues have been released, like four to eight, publishers will reprint them in a collection for people to read that didn't get the floppies or for people that want to reread the story but don't want to fish out their individual issues. Like this, for example, is Walking Dead Volume 1. The first six issues of Walking Dead, the series, are in here. They collect it here in Volume 1. When there's another six issues, they'll collect it in Volume 2, another six issues in Volume 3, and so on and so forth. If the series is popular enough, you start taking these guys and you get a compendium. Look at this. And this isn't even all of it. This says one. There's actually two of these right now, and there's a third one on the way. That's a lot of comics. Trade book is a term for any book. Not a comic book, but a book book. The word trade comes from, like, the legitimate book publishing world. Like, people that make legitimate novels, Stephen King, and so on and so forth. Why is it called trade? I have no idea. But it means, like, books that are sold in bookstores, books that are meant for consumers. So something like a manual for how to drive a tank is not a trade book. 
which doesn't really make any sense because you would think, I'm a tank driver, so my trade is I drive tanks, and so this is my book about driving tanks. It's a trade book, but I, you know what? We're just going to move on. These are trade books. Trades books are something that like has a spine. It can sit on a shelf. It can be like a paperback, but it also can be like a hardcover. These can be either collections that are reprints of past issues, or they can be OGNs. OGN stands for Original Graphic Novels. These are trades that have stories that were never released in floppy form. They're longer form stories designed to be trades from the get-go. OGNs are like one-shots, but instead of a floppy, it's a bigger book than a single issue. Pride of Baghdad is one of my favorite OGNs. It's really good, but it's really sad. But it's really good, but it's really, really sad. You have been warned. Ah, uh, graphic novel. Graphic novel is the fancy schmancy name to make comics seem fancy schmancy. Prose novels, or real books, are already respected as a medium, I guess. So they cribbed that and slapped on graphic. Basically, it's kind of a pretentious term used as a catch-all for comics content and book form. Omnibuses are massive collections containing popular runs and storylines. Other companies do these too, but sometimes they use different names to be different, like Compendium. They are just big ass books. DC Comics coined this term. They're basically oversized editions of important stories in a slipcase collector's item format. I get my drink on when I read. I pulled out the vodka for my absolute here, but all I had was Kettle One. I ain't fancy, but it'll do. A run defines a series that has ended, like that series ran for 50 issues. It can also be associated with a particular creator's time with the series, like I'm a big fan of Grant Morrison's Batman run. Manga is Japanese comics. You typically have to read them right to left. See, here's the front cover, and there's a spine, and the back cover, so you see it's right to left, but it's kind of weird because on the inside it's translated and the English is left to right which is also kind of weird because modern Japanese is kind of left to right, but it's also sort of vertical, but all right, there we go. It's, it's manga, it's manga, it's manga, it's manga. It's one of those. Web comics are comics that are published online initially. You know, the internet, the thing with all the cats and weird fetishes. Pang is one of my favorite web comics, and it looks like this when it's online, and like this when it gets published in a book later. Digital comics are digital versions of published comics that you can read on your PC or tablet. But real comics are better. Previews is a big magazine that lets you know what's coming out in the future. Basically, it's just a way to keep up with what's going on. They're like movie trailers, but for books. And by books, I mean comics. Well, that was fun. I hope that was a little bit educational for those of you new to the comic book scene. Despite all evidence to the contrary, <sighs> this video was not brought to you by Mickey's, but actually, I guess it kind of was. By the way, I subscribe to the notion of responsible drinking. Thanks for watching. Perhaps more vocab videos in the future. Maybe.